on the CoLab website. Welcome to 15 and 15. We're here with Megan Smith from ETNS, who's going to be talking to us about using OneDrive in conjunction with Canvas. And I'll turn it over to you, Megan. Excellent. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, let me just pull this over. So the whole um, premise of this session is to make your syllabus link in OneDrive, put syllabus in the syllabus or wherever you need to have it in Canvas, in Canvas. And then instead of having to down, download uh, like a PDF document every semester, make the changes in Word, put it back in PDF, and then put it back on Canvas every semester. What this will do is it'll be a link to OneDrive of your syllabus and your students can view it. And you on the other end in OneDrive can update the syllabus as it goes. And it, in real time, it will change it. And you can actually do this with any um, document you want that's in OneDrive. You can stick any document you want in Canvas and go from there. So um, what I'm going to start off with, which um, some of you might know and might not know, is where do I find OneDrive? Um, you can find OneDrive on your um, My Plymouth, and it's right under 0365 uh, apps, and it's right here. So I'm going to open my OneDrive. Um, and then I, um, I guess I want to um, underline that in order to do this, you have to have your um, document in OneDrive. Um, you can't do this any other way. The other thing is um, I provided a link on the handout for um, the way to have your O365 account activated into your Canvas, which is not hard at all. I just don't, for this training, I don't have time to go through those steps. Um, so what I'm going to first do, there are two ways to do this, but what I'm going to first do is go into my one of my um, courses and I'm going to go to the syllabus link. And from the syllabus link, this is where you might put your um, Word document or your PDF every semester. I'm going to click on edit. And it's as simple as going to this um, little red triangle. This is your 0365 Microsoft Office 365 um, icon. And I'm going to click on it. And all of a sudden, I'm in my OneDrive. Now I have all of my folders, and I have um, different documents that I can choose. I'm going to click on my document, and then I'm going to attach the file. And it's as easy as that. So when you attach the file, you might be wondering, well, this is files linked to my OneDrive. What can the students do with it? When you go in this way to, to uh, add a link from your OneDrive, the default is generally that the students can only view the, do the uh, document. So they can't be making changes or anything. They can just view. So um, I just want to show you quickly. Um, what happens when you change. So I'm gonna take this document, actually, yeah, I'm gonna take, I'll show you this document first. Oops, I gotta update my syllabus. So it's gonna launch the LTI. It's gonna say load in a new window. And here are my, um, here's the document I just put up. So, just want to show you um, what that looks from your OneDrive. This is the document that I just added into my syllabus. And I'm going to make a little uh, change to it. It's automatically saved in your OneDrive. 
saving, it's saving. And then I'm gonna go back and actually close this out. And I'm gonna go back to my canvas and I'll click on the link, your OneDrive link that I just set up. And again, load in a new window. And as you can see, there it is, it's seamless. Once you do it in your OneDrive, it goes right to your um, uh, right to your canvas. So that's the first way to do that. There's another way to, to do it if you want to have it so that your students have more access to your document. If you want students to be able to edit your document, um, this would be used, for example, when um, I know some faculty have Excel sheets and they want students to sign up on things. This is a great way to um, share an Excel sheet like that um, and students can edit it and stuff like that. Um, so what we'll do instead is I'm going to go to my modules. And then actually I'm going to go to my OneDrive first. Uh, actually, let's add it right here. Oops, that's not what I wanted, sorry. So I'm going to go to the page where I want to put it. And I'll just stick it under here. And um, I'm going to go to my OneDrive. And I'm going to pick the document I want. And I'm going to click on this share button, which is like a square with an arrow coming out. And I'm gonna specify who I want to see it. And generally you wanna use um, people in the USNH with the link because they already have access. Your students already have access to Canvas. So they will have access to this um, document as well. So I'll choose that. And then I can choose over here. Do I wanna do, do I wanna let them view it? Do I wanna let them review it? Or can they edit it? So for example, I'll let them edit it. And um, since, uh, you've let them edit, you can't block the download. Um, but so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on apply and then copy. Now this is gonna give me the link I need to go into my canvas. It's gonna tell me who has it and what they can do with it. And then I have to press copy again. And now I have the link copied. So I'm gonna go back into Canvas and I'm gonna click on my um, insert link and I'm gonna insert it. And then I'm gonna call it homework. And then there's your link. If you want it, if you do it this way, it's easier to kind of just, decide what you want your students to do with the actual document. Uh, obviously for a syllabus, you're just gonna have them view it. But if you have other documents that you want them to be able to edit, then you would do it probably this way it would be the easiest way. Um, let's see. So let's take a look at what your students, uh, whoops. Let's take a look at what your students will see. Now, if you go into the student view, it's not gonna help it because you're not gonna be able to see what your students view actually on these links because your student view is not connected to any type of its own OneDrive or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you um, what it would look like from uh, like a pretend, an actual pretend student. That sounds kind of funny, but it's an actual pretend student that I can access on my side of things. Um, you don't have this um, ability, but what I'm gonna do is pretend that I'm student one. And then I'm gonna go into my modules. And I just added that to this, I think. And this is what your students will view. Now your students can uh, type on it and they can do anything to change that document. So that's an example of being able to edit the document. If you uh, want your student, let's look at the syllabus actually. 
Um, I think we put this one there. And now as you wait just one second, as you can see, there's no way for them to edit it. All they can do is view it. So um, that is basically it. I just want to reiterate um, that I taught for many years online and face to face. Um, and it may seem like a small um thing to do but it makes your life just a little bit easier i remember having to download documents and then upload documents and change this and that and this makes it seamless so that you don't need to um you don't need to do that and it makes your life easier and like i said you can do this with any type of documents an excel document a powerpoint any type of documents you can do this as long as that document lives in your OneDrive then you um, can do that. So I think that's all I have. Well, thank you so much, Megan. That's great tips about integrating the two services. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna go ahead and um, stop the recording now.